video that this is a haul video um, most of the craft stores around me are having clearances right now and they've just done inventory so they are clearing out and to bring in all the new stuff so I really had a good time and got some really good deals um, I use a silhouette um, cameo for uh, my business so this wasn't really on sale I used a coupon but had to get a new blade Super excited about that. Now, I have the original one of these. It is red, and I use it for book binding. It is the Tim Holtz Retractable Craft Pick. I use this for book binding because it, it, the point is phenomenal for poking holes to do, you know, stitching your um, books together. So I was really excited about this, even though I do have one. Look at that price. You sort of, I mean, it's normally $5.99, I got it for $1.49. I couldn't pass that up. My other big find, I did not have the toolkit for the Cricut or Silhouette. I don't have one. And so this is normally $49.99. And even with a 40% off coupon, it really, you know, still pretty expensive. So when I saw this today for $12.50, I just had to have it. I was actually going to get the scoring um, so it can score the back of my stickers and I was going to get a pick. Well, combined, these two together was going to cost me more than this whole set. And so this has the portable trimmer with a replacement blade and a scoring blade, a scoring stylus, a weeder, tweezers, a spatula, um, scissors that have a blade cover, and a scraper. So, so excited about that one. And the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby, really, I didn't need it, but I love Tim Holtz tins, and they're normally like six bucks, and it was $1.50. And so when I move into my new studio, I collect tins. I have Altoid tins. I have all kinds of little tins that I just store all my little bitty things in. So yeah, these are fun, and I was excited about that. So yes, I'm probably gonna say I'm excited about everything. Um, then I did Five Below and got 48 color pencils, so I'm going to try those out. That's one of my little, I'm going to try that for a video. Um, thought I would try out the alcohol markers from Five Below. They remind me of the dual tip Prismacolor pens um, markers that I used in college. Um, yeah, I had a marker rendering class and this was, I had to use Prismacolors because at the time that was all you could get. And so, yeah, that's what these remind me of. So, I'm, I'll do a review on that. And then, I went to Joann's, so I've went to Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Michaels, I didn't buy anything, even though they were really having a good deal. They're completely changing out their acrylic paint section. So if you like craft paints, they have, at least mine did, had the Martha Stewart craft paints for a dollar a piece, which is really good. But this is what I went, and Joann's, I got them for less than $2 a piece. So I got 12, 12 Posca pens for $20. I was super excited about this because I've been wanting them and even on sale they're so pretty expensive and I'm very very frugal some say cheap when it comes to my art supplies so that was that and then I love lettering lettering books I love them this one I had never seen and this was called the lost art of handwriting by Brianna Jordan and it's 50 exercises and worksheets and oh my goodness I just flipped through it and it reminds me of um, a drawing book that I have called draw your day I literally sat down and read it from cover to cover and that's not what I normally do with an art book but this one the way it's written it's got some beautiful details in here just the way it's written and the history of handwriting is in here um, different, you know, talks about tools and pins. But yeah, I got this one. This one was on sale too, so it's like 30% off at Joann's. So, yeah, always check out Joann's for books. Um, 
they don't let you use coupons on magazines, but you can use them on books. But these were on sale for 30% off. So, I will say, I think I had a very, very successful haul. And I'm really excited. I'm going to play around with these Posca pens. And just excited. Yeah, I'm going to keep saying excited. So, there we go. I got the... Um, the only the, I had to get um, large tips in a couple, or in these three, because they didn't have the small ones. So this is the five, the 2.5 millimeter. So the 5M ones, and then these are the 3M ones. But so I ended up getting black, purple, and green in the large tips. I got white. This one doesn't really say what color so white yellow um, this teal a bright pink a more maroon pink oh it does have the colors sorry it does have the colors this one is yellow white this one's called emerald green so it looks more of a teal not in my light in my, my light is looking blue but it's called emerald green fuchsia and pink this one orange red blue and dark brown so yeah these really made me excited the sign above these said buy one get one half price original price was $3.99 so I was figuring five dollars for two I get up to the register and I get got them for a dollar sixty eight each now I did have to buy them in sets of two in you know, quantity of two, but still, a dollar sixty-eight each for Posca pins. That was just unheard of. So I'm excited about that. Then I'm also going to try out these um, 48 colors from Five Below. They're just a regular. Uh, looks like a regular pencil, but they're color pencils. And I was excited to try these out just because I wanted to try out some budget-friendly art supplies. Now, I do have some more expensive. I love my golden paints. I like my nice watercolors. Um, but I also like to share some things that I find that are more inexpensive, and that's what these are. And the same with these alcohol markers. They had this set, and then they had a set that was like skin tones and browns and things. So if I like these, I'll probably go back and get those. Um, but this one had a black, a brown. The only thing it doesn't have is a gray. But it's got a fine tip on one end. And they smell like prism colors. Yep. And a broad tip on that end. So not a brush pen. But these definitely remind me of ones I used in college for marker rendering. So, and I do like it that they have a color name. Like this one's called Terracotta. There we go. Yeah, so. I do have a good amount of markers but I started looking at it I have a lot of blacks and grays a lot of like yellow and orange which that's what I'll show you that section right there I made that out of foam core to store my markers flat I thought maybe if I stored them out where I could see them I would use them more I do have these color pencils these are just Crayolas most of these are Crayolas I think yep they're all Crayolas I did have a whole bunch of Prismacolors, but I have absolutely no clue what happened to those. And I really don't like Prismacolor that well because every time I seem to sharpen them, they crack. It's been fun. I'm just, I, I think my biggest excitement was this. Because I'm like, that is just, you know, it's been on my, on my wish list for a while. And so just because I needed all these tools. I think I had them before we moved, but they got lost in the whole move, which has been six years ago this year. So a lot of my art supplies and stuff got stored for a few, you know, for a while. And so I didn't, it got moved around and shuffled around and who knows where it's at. Watch me if I ever go through boxes again, I'll probably find it. But like I said, I really, this tool, um, I've had the original one for a long time, and it is my favorite book binding tool. Because I like it because you can store it with it not out. 
so that you don't get poked. I've been poked by owls. But yeah. Go out and check it out. I'm filming this video on February 23rd, so I don't know uh, when you'll see this. But as of right now, most all the stores have already done their inventory and are doing their clearancing out. So, yeah. And I will see you later. Have a good one.